Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go ahead and do a how to install script mods into your Sims 4 game. I do have a regular video on how to install mods slash CC um, just very simply into your game and believe it or not script mods and regular uh, custom content or you know certain types of mods are a little bit different. A script mod actually just kind of edits the gameplay of your game a little more um, intricately. Uh, this one specifically the pregnant pregnancy mega mod actually has a whole new menu selection for your game and changes the way your pregnancies can happen through your game you have just a little more control over uh, your pregnancies and so I do actually have a review slash overview I'll link that down below in case you guys are interested what inspired me to do this video was actually requested by Paige on Twitter to do the review of the Pregnancy Mega Mod and also show how to install it. Well, I want to do a video on how to install script mods in general for any script mod, so I figured I would just kind of do that in a separate video so that if I ever do install script mods into my game later on, you will have a link on how to do that. So script mod, it just requires a little bit more, um, not detail necessarily, but just a little more work than a normal drag and drop mod where you download it and then you just drag it into your mods folder and you're good to go. This you actually have to go inside your game and do a few more things for your game to actually read the script mods. And I'll show you exactly how to do that today. So the first thing you're going to need is a mod. Usually it'll tell you if it's a script mod or something like that. So that's not hard to find. Um, but it actually tells you how to do it on here too. But in case you guys are just a little more, you know, it's a little more easier for you to follow by me doing, then that's why I'm doing this video. But the uh, everything you need to know how to do or in the install instructions right here. So you'll know the difference between a regular mod and a script mod because it will usually tell you on the, uh, the, the mod that you're downloading. See, script and core mods. Okay, so once you go ahead and uh, get yourself a modthesims.info account, you'll need that to be able to install this mod. This mod was created by Scumbumbo, and once you got all that kind of done, you can go into the file section. Definitely read the description to see what is compatible with that mod, just to make sure that you don't have any mods that are conflicting with it, or that won't, you know, uh, that will hinder it from installing properly, or even worse, could actually screw up your game. Uh, so just make sure that you read the the, the description and all that jazz so once you got that done you're definitely going to need a program that you can uh, extract um, files with Renoir is a great uh, program it's free I'll link that down below that's what I use it opens up RAR files it opens up zip files this just so happens to be a zip file okay so there's two files here I usually download whatever it says to download. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the pregnancy mod, uh, mega mod version four, and then the pregnancy mega mod gender fix. So once you have that, you're going to see this little icon. That's the Renoir icon. You can go ahead and actually open it right up from Renoir. And you're going to notice that this says, do not unzip. This is the first thing that you need to pay attention to. Normally you would just drag and drop these into your mods folder, which should be um, libraries, documents, electronic arts, the Sims for mods folder. So basically it should be in your electronic arts file under uh, your your documents and then <laughs> just ignore some of these interesting names. I was apparently very pissed off at my game. <laughs> <laughs> at one point in time and called it an effort. Uh, but yeah, it's just the way that it is. So anyways, this is where your your mods folder is, um, is located at. And uh, all that you need to do is just go ahead and kind of not unzip this. It's very easy. You're going to probably just going to go back here. And uh, you can see I've like downloaded this like a freaking thousand times. And you're just going to go and drag that right into your... Um, into your mods folder and you're going to leave it completely intact. You don't unzip it. See how this is like a package zip file or a package file. That is a whole entire zip folder. So you do not want to unpackage that because if you do, it could actually screw up your game. So then the next thing you're going to grab is your original uh, pregnancy mod folder and you are going to go ahead and just drag and drop that baby. Actually, no, this one, I'm sorry. I don't know why. I just got kind of distracted here. Uh, this one you're going to actually unzip. So this is the script mod 
this one here is the uh, the zip where you don't you don't un you don't un unzip this. You leave it just like I showed you in before. The one that was intact with the little books, leave it that way. Trust me. If you click on it, it's going to tell you the exact thing. Do not unzip it. So you're just going to go back. You're going to listen to them, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and select both of these and drag and drop both of those files. So you should have a total of three files, technically four. Three files. You're gonna have the pregnancy mega mod gender fix. You're gonna have the uh, the mega mod package file and the mega mod script. So the next thing that we need to do is go into our game and enable script mods so that our game can read these mods effortlessly and so therefore they will work. All right, but I just wanted to reiterate something. So if you have a little confusion about which ones you need to transfer and which ones you need to just extract, remember when you double click on the file, it will tell you do not unzip. So just for clarification, do not drag these files, drag the entire stack of books or the entire uh, compressed file as a whole and drag and drop the package files because they're already obviously unzipped. So the next thing that we need to do, <laughs> well, hello there, Jen, is go ahead and open up our game. All right, so here we are. Now, if you went ahead and tried to use the script mod right now, it still wouldn't work unless you went ahead and had your script mods enabled. So right now when you see the screen, you're gonna notice that all this is popped up. Now, if you go down to the bottom, you'll see that your script mods, the ones that you just installed, are showing and working, the two that you had chosen to install, or which ones ever, whatever ones you chose to install. You're gonna go ahead and click the check mark because if your mods did not install correctly, this will not be visible. Okay, easy fix. All that you need to do, and you should probably do this before you install your mods so that you don't have to go back and do it again. But I'm just doing this to show you. So you go into game options and you go ahead and go into other. And then right here under view custom content, it's going to say script mods. So normally when you do a fresh install of this game or whatever the situation is, this won't be checked unless you check it yourself. So you have to check it and go ahead and click the check marks and it will say script mods may cause your game to crash or result in unexpected behavior use at your own risk you will need to restart the game for the setting to change or for this game setting to change to take effect or whatever okay so you clicked it you plus apply changes and obviously you go ahead and exit your game are you sure you want to exit your game go ahead and reopen your game and double check that your script mods are showing and if they are then that means there's a pretty good chance that they will work so go ahead and open up your favorite game or you know your recent saved file whatever one you want to do in my case it's the Sullivan's so we're gonna go ahead and uh, open them up these are the same sims I just used for the the mod demonstration I'm actually gonna go ahead and click uh, play real fast just to go ahead and double check that this mod this specific mod script mod that I installed does indeed work so it's very simple and easy and the main thing is just making sure your script mods are enabled and making sure that you drag and drop the files that need to be dragged and dropped and leave the files that need to stay compressed compressed and yes it does work so all right guys i hope that script mod was helpful or that script mod or how to install script mods uh was easy or simple or whatever the situation is uh if you guys found this tutorial helpful go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and if you have any requests for any other videos just go ahead and leave those um in the comments down below as well all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think of the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i think that i said that already but hey you know what i'll see you next time bye guys